Sabra Desai was raised in apartheid South Africa and chose to immigrate when she was denied the opportunity to pursue higher education in her native land. Despite speaking English, she found life in Canada lonely and frustrating, and ironically, even here, she was discouraged from going to university. But she was determined to transcend stereotypes and succeed. The biggest challenge was to feel that I was an integral part of this mosaic, of, this, of Canada. And uh, that was a challenge, that constantly having to prove my worth, prove my merit. I stumbled upon um, the program at University of Toronto at Ruth Woods College. And I enrolled, made it through, which made it possible for me to enroll in a degree program at uh, the University of Toronto. Sabra graduated with distinction and earned her master's in social work. As a result of the sexism and racism she had encountered in her pursuit of higher learning, she was inspired to help other women in the fight for equal rights and social justice. This led her to a role in the education system, counseling children of immigrant families, and ultimately to a teaching position at Humber College. As a result of my community work, I can um, help my students. I help my students by seeing and bringing what the re lived realities of people outside the community experiences, outside the classroom is, and bring it into my classroom. Because she has obviously come, come over many hurdles uh, in her life, she's able to, uh, to uh, assist others that, that have those hurdles to overcome, so that uh, perhaps for them, uh, climbing over that hurdle won't be quite as challenging as it was for her. Sabra's list of community service is astonishing. To name but a few, she initiated Toronto's first shelter for women and children escaping violence, founded the Visible Minority Women's Coalition and the South Asian Women's Group. She is a human rights activist working in Guyana, South America, the USA, Ethiopia, and South Africa, where she spends summers working with those affected and infected with HIV and AIDS. She also began a program to help Muslim women cope with the trauma of post 9-11 racism. She is an award winner, anti-racism activist, advocate for social justice, and an inspiration to all. Being an immigrant has shaped me you know, from the point of view that I think I've become more aware of the challenges that immigrants, newcomers, refugees uh, face. I'm just so passionate about community service. It is the most fulfilling, most rewarding and enriching um, ways of, of, of living. I think her greatest single contribution to community service uh, has to certainly do with, uh, with the uh, anti-racism, uh, human rights uh, causes that she so strongly advocates for. I think that her ability to stay committed for a long period of time is, is remarkable. Uh, I mean, some of the work that she has done, um, I, I guess as a champion on the, the human rights, uh, anti-racism uh, front, um, she's been uh, involved in this for uh, probably 20 years now. In 2002, Sabra was awarded the South African Women for Women's Human Rights Award. She also received the Distinguished Faculty Award from the Humber Institute for Technology and Advanced Learning and the National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development's Excellence Award in 2004. I got into community work not expecting and to be acknowledged for it because I just feel that's what I should be doing. Uh, but having been nominated and being a recipient um, I feel that it is not only an honor and a privilege, but it is an inspiration to continue doing that which I enjoy much.